Hi, I'm Phil and welcome to Holy Habitus Week 3. Today we're going to be completing what is really a three-part mini-series introduction to what I think I mean when I talk about Holy Habitus. And we're going to be using some of the words of Jesus today from Matthew 11 verses 20, 28 to 30. He says this, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Oh, they're wonderful words, aren't they? Because they're just life-giving. And if nothing else, just receive that promise from God today that when we come to Jesus, he wants to take away from our shoulders those burdens that we so often needlessly carry and weigh ourselves down with. And Jesus wants to give us rest, just nourish our souls. But Jesus in this passage is really, I think, talking about his habitus, his yoke, and he uses that language of a crossbar that you put across the shoulders of an ox or a donkey to pull a plough or a carriage or a cart. And, and in those days that was a language used to refer to the teaching of a rabbi. The, a rabbi taught a certain way of life, a habitus if you will, and, and the disciples or the students of that rabbi would, would take upon themselves and their life the lifestyle that that rabbi was, was teaching. And Jesus says, my yoke is easy, my habitus is light. It's not burdensome, it's not heavy and overbearing and, and soul grinding. It's actually life-giving and nourishing to your souls. And he was comparing himself to those other rabbis. And elsewhere he said to some of the experts of the law of the day, he said, woe to you experts of the law, because you load people down with burdens they can hardly bear. And you don't even lift a finger to help them. And in comparison, Jesus is saying, come to me, I'm going to help you to carry this, this yoke, this habitus. And I'd just like to explore what we mean by saying, what Jesus says, that his yoke is easy, his habitus is easy. Because in some regards, it's quite, it looks quite difficult. I mean, Jesus even said, pick up your cross and follow me. You know, that's, that's not an easy yoke. That's, that's martyrdom, that's death, that's hard. And in many regards, the, the separate habits the habits or practices that Jesus taught seem quite hard. Love your enemies, pray for your enemies, you know, pray for those who persecute you, turn the other cheek when someone strikes you, all those sorts of things seem and are really quite hard and, and painful. So in what sense can we say that the Jesus habitus is, is easy in any, in any kind of way? Well, I don't know, maybe you could share your thoughts below about what you think Jesus meant when he said that. But I've got two suggestions. One is, I think, Jesus came to show us life as it should be. He said, I came to bring you life and life in all its abundance or fullness. And I believe that when we echo and mimic God, uh, Jesus and his lifestyle, his habitus, actually we, we do away with a lot of life that we don't need. All of that kind of trying to impress God, trying to impress ourselves, um, trying to justify ourselves before him, before others. And Jesus says, right, we'll cut that, that away and instead live a life that is transparent and simple before God. And when we do, that's actually the, the key to unlocking a life of fulfillment, of, uh, of living water bubbling up inside our lives. And while the separate components might be hard, the whole is easy and nourishing to our souls. It's kind of like different from the world's habitus or yoke in that we often do things that are easy but the whole grinds us down and destroys our souls. And Jesus is saying when you live my life it's, this is a mode or a model of living that brings you um, life in all its fullness that, that God will be in, uh, in it. Um, an apprenticeship to Jesus brings life. Um, so that's one thing I thought of and the second thing was really that Jesus says come to me you know, and take my yoke upon you. Um, in other words, you know, we're invited to be yoke fellows with Jesus. And because he's, you know, infinitely more powerful and better than us, um, we've got a good deal out of that. Actually, Jesus is going to carry that load with us. He's the chief load bearer, if you will. Um, and that means that, oh, that yoke isn't so heavy. It's not all down to us. We're saved by grace, not by our own works and endeavours. Actually, Jesus is going to achieve this and we're kind of carrying up with him. And so I think those are two ways in which, in, in which Jesus can say that his habit is easy, his yoke is light. And so I suppose the prayer to, to tie all this up is a wonderful little prayer that I, I often pray and it's this, Father, 
may I carry no other yoke but the yoke of Christ alone.